today and I don't know why that song why I know why the song was in my mind is because this is the time that we're in right now right and all of these people who actually chose you guys as their target <laughs> you want to talk about backfiring okay I don't feel like they ever thought especially the government the parts of the government who created this gang stalking system I don't think they ever thought that what, what's happening now is going to happen. And it's going to keep happening because we're not taking it. Let's just see what they want to talk about. Because they usually do this to those of you who are talented, right? We're not going nowhere. Let me see. Let's see. Courageous, right? Now, what the system is just going to fold you over, he said, right? We don't get folded over, okay? We're folding the system over, is what we're doing. We're not allowing um, the system and its minions to want us to suffer. And, and it's like if we chose to suffer, it's because we choose to suffer, not because you inflict things in our lives to make us suffer while you guys gain off of it. <laughs> no. No. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's up. What do you want to talk about, Spirit Guys? What do we need to know? What do you guys want to say? What do you guys want to say? Hmm? Who's this? Eight men. There could be a cancer that's being seen as a man hater. Yeah, I just saw the Queen of Cups and the chariot. There could definitely be a, a cancer female. That is a man hater. But let's see. Yeah. Well, that's because they keep picking karmics. <laughs> I feel like somebody that doesn't like men doesn't realize it's because they're supposed to put boundaries up and move away and probably work on themselves and stop letting these men break their heart. <sighs> Tell me more about this, please. Yeah, because they've been cheated on so much. This is somebody who keeps putting men on a pedestal and then they break their heart. This is somebody who possibly even had their father break their heart. And, and they carry this on into relationships. And then they go into the next relationship with hate in their heart from the last dude that betrayed them. And so the new relationship never stands a chance. But this will be a female that goes and blames it on the dudes, too. This is somebody that acts like they're content even when they're married and stuff. They're all. This is also somebody who now, because they have such a disdain for men, that they'll, they'll go and they'll ruin marriages and, and, and not realize them because of their greed and, and the unhealed energy that I feel. And then they'll go and they'll destroy a family intentionally because of the way that they feel about men. Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this. Yeah, inability to grow up. It's a childish energy. So this is somebody that's codependent on them. Oh, okay. So this, whoever this female is, and I do feel like it's a female or it's a gay male, but it's a female energy. They're, they, it's, it's not the men that they hate. It's the fact that they can't survive without one. I mean, I guess we've all been in some kind of energy like that, right? But I'm guessing that this is somebody that takes this to the next level. For some of you, it's your next door neighbor. Tell me more, please. Tell me about this man hater. Change your password. So change your password. Hold on, I always have to. I have to always have to ask right now if this is personal. No, 
Okay, so for somebody, let me find out who. I mean, just change your password anyway. Passwords. Tell me who, who should change their password. Somebody in particular? Who should? Oh. Oh. Okay. So what? this is what I'm also seeing. Is that this could be a female. Whoever this is that I'm picking up on, this could be somebody. Sworn to with cameras. This could be somebody that... It's either connected. So th I, this could also be a female that doesn't, I don't feel like she likes women either. It depends on who I'm speaking to that needs it. I think I feel like you change your passwords and now these people are disappointed. You could have a whole bunch of men trying to hack your account and people may feel like you hate men. But this is just because you protect yourself. This is protection, putting boundaries up. This is another form of protection here. Yeah, and then there's the yes card. So I feel like somebody has the game. They, they read you wrong. Whoever these people are that's around you, they could think that you hate men. And it may be because of an experience that you're having. I don't know. You could be going through a period where you feel like you hate them. I did. I did, and you'll 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 be able to tell when you're not like that anymore because you'll be able to have a healthy friendship or a relationship, and you won't carry none of that stuff that they did to you over. So you could be going through a period like this, you know, as long as it's just like a period of of hating and not staying in that. But I feel like these people around you are all getting karma. And it's because they keep trying to hack your account, but you're too you're too protective of them. Uh oh. Ooh -ooh. <laughs> somebody needs to change more just their password, huh? Somebody needs to like somebody's doing health spells on the other person, or is, or is somebody trying to like give another person like an STD like energetically? Is that even possible? Why would this be together unless somebody was trying to um, get into someone else's account to be able to send messages as another person, uh, and including this, to get somebody caught up or to ruin somebody's reputation? Let's find out who has that, though. Tell me about this particular, because I feel like this particular message may be specific for somebody watching. You could be a man. And there could be like a female or even like a jealous gay male because that's the same type of energy when it comes to hating men. You could have a, someone around you, Leo energy possibly. Um, yeah, Aries. So there's an Aries somewhere that has it. Leo possibly. Now this is going to be, you know, don't get mad if you're an Aries. You know it ain't you if you ain't got it, okay? But it is for somebody. Tell me more, please. Uh, Pisces. And an Aquarius. Wow. Yes. So for somebody, there's... So there could be people who said that you had it. Okay? And then this definitely could be three different people in a situation that actually has it. Now, generally speaking, I feel like somebody somebody uh, feels like a fool because this could be somebody that that uh, called you a man hater. They could have said, "Yeah, but these she's a man hater or whatever this is." Or if you're a gay man, you know how it is. And then it turns out that somebody actually has hepatitis. Like you're, I'm the man hater, but I'm celibate, and uh, and you have hepatitis. Yeah, this is three different people in a situation for somebody that actually is is sick with this. Cause damn, uh huh. It just feels like uh, 
Like, how dare you judge somebody? Th this could this could definitely be a situation. What I'm also seeing is that if you're a female, like I said, and you have all these dudes like ch constantly trying to hack your account and clone your phone and stuff like that, you could be in a situation where it looks like to the outside world that you actually have a disdain for men because you could be dealing with a lot of men coming against you, understandably so, as long as I said you don't stay in that energy. But there, there's karma here for these people who are around another person. All these lost soul people. Keep it moving. These people should have just kept it moving, but I feel like they kept constantly trying. It's like childish, inability to grow up and be responsible. Like Now, for somebody, you're not changing your passwords, and you're just thinking that some god is going to protect all your accounts. Like that... That, that, that uh, belief that there's a being that's just going to handle everything and you just have to sit back and just be is has gotten a lot of people in some compromising situations, okay? There are some people out there who feel like, God would never let him do Okay. I mean, I'm, I guess so. You see how that works out for you, though. All right, let's see. Let me get three letters here. What are we on? Eleven. Can I get three letters for this situation? There's definitely in a situation an Aries, a Pisces, and an Aquarius. Um, this could be this could be these three people here. This is their karma. These three people with the three of cups. These people are disappointed. First off, they're disappointed that you keep changing your passwords or that they can't get into your phone or that you know. These are people that this is like the codependency where you know what are they codependent on? They're codependent, and it looks like on your bank account. But now you keep changing your passwords or you ask your pendulum if you keep, you know, protecting yourself. And now, I mean, I don't know. It's like, why is this connected to the he hepatitis, man? <laughs> doctor Z? Yeah, somebody needs to go to a doctor. Uh, these people should be more focused on making a doctor's appointment. Um, L.A., you could live in L.A. or, but, but these people need to focus on getting themselves okay. Because, I mean, I feel like they don't realize that they're sick. Can I get two more letters, please? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? One, two, three, four. Do these people, they might not even know that, that they have it. Is this like a bunch of people around you that just sleep with a bunch of people or something? It sounds like a bunch of people who just bang whoever or something like that. L.M. Hmm. I mean, these could be initials of these people. L.M.D. I hope that ain't lick my boot. Okay, we're just going to see, though. Lauren's man disorder is a physical and part mental disease that a man can contract where the male looks like Lauren would be attracted to said the disease. What is that? It was discovered on the afternoon of Halloween. Letter of mass destruction. Hold on a second. Lauren's man disorder. Male looks like Lauren would be attracted to said man. Is this when you're around somebody so much you start looking like them? Living a double life. Oh, they're telling me it's letter of mass destruction. Somebody could have got. Ooh, did somebody find out in somebody's phone? That they had, this could be a situation. Oh my god, this could be a situation where. Oh my god. I, You know what I think happened, you guys? Long distance mistake, definitely. But this could be a situation, letter of mass destruction, where these people who were trying to hack your stuff and stuff, like you're just sitting here protecting your shit. 
And I feel like for these people, this is their karma. Somebody could have gotten some kind of letter or it's like um, they found out that somebody has this. And this could have been a bunch of people that were all messing around with each other. This would definitely be karma. We bonded, we had fun. Yeah, this, these are people who don't want to work. All right, I don't feel like this is just one person. I feel like these are people who didn't want to work. These are people that are around someone, and this is what they do. They hack and they clone, and, and, and I guess that because someone in particular, or there could be multiple people catching on to what they're doing, especially if you're spreading messages on like, I haven't had to um, be told to change my password or secure my account since I started turning off since uh, I got an iPhone, since I started turning off my Wi-Fi and my data while I'm sleeping at night, um, since I asked this repeatedly, like if I, if your your ancestors and guides will put that thought in your mind. So you know how when you're like, why, why did I just think of that? That's them putting that in your brain. So if you're just out of nowhere thinking like about your passwords, ask your pendulum, rinse it off underwater, command the truth and ask if your accounts are secure. You know, ask it to get what you need out of it. So I feel like a lot of you are doing this. But for somebody, your situation, you have a bunch of people around you that are just completely, they have nothing. I mean, I'm sorry, they have something. <laughs> um, damn. So this is the karma for these people um, who were, I don't know, this could just be a bunch of people now are starting to protect their accounts everywhere. And now these people are going to be like left to their own demise because they could have been like, actually hacking into people's accounts and actually like gaining things off of this and trying to hold you back covertly so they can't hold you back anymore caught yeah look somebody's caught they could have even been trying to get in someone else's account to try to make it look somewhat like someone else had this is also what I'm seeing. Like whatever this is, this is just trash. It's a whole bunch of trash energy. But look what look at the card that's sticking up on my animal cards though. Seventeen seventeen. Let's put that right there. Let's put it right where you guys can see. We're not going nowhere. Tell me more about this, please. This situation with this anything. Uh, material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah, listen, this is what I'm going to tell you guys, okay? Forget the hepatitis thing. I feel like these are just a bunch of people who should be focusing on making a doctor's appointment instead of trying to hack someone's phone, okay? But this is the, this is the thing. Everything safe with their friends. Yeah, somebody thought that these people they were hanging with or sleeping with or, I mean, I don't know uh, what other ways you can you can catch hepatitis. I really don't. I don't know much about it, and I'm grateful. Thank you, universe. Uh, thank you, high myself. But you see this? That's you. That's six. That's you. That's money. Roasting is so hard. If these people could have roasted you, you could have been like, a, a, like a, you know what I mean? Like they sat around and talked about another person, but here you are, like you're the one that actually has stuff. Like you can actually see like your future. It's like he's looking like, I feel like this dude likes to get up every day. You feel me? It's like, ah, look at water and trees and the sun. Like you appreciate things and that's why you're bringing this in these other people. I mean, this is just lost you know, the, the lost soul, typical freaking zombie type energy that we pull on a lot. I mean, these are people who cared more about like having sex and, and partying. And then there's someone else over here who's like, I care more about protecting my accounts and that and healing with the star card. And that is why this is here for you. So what's here for them? That's here for you. What What's here for these people? What's here? Third eye chakra. They could be waking up. I mean, I, that's six and six, though. That could be someone's life path number. But this is you. Look, power and authority. These people have no power or authority over you. This could just be the system as well. I always hope that these people are waking up, though. I really do. Yeah, for to look at you, Divine Feminine. That's you. This is you. So these people, all these people around you, I feel like people are just losing and losing and losing. And, like, here you are gaining and gaining and gaining. And... It, it, it's, is it really taking this long for these people to realize that there's a reason why you keep gaining and they keep losing? You're never going to gain while you're trying to take from someone else who's actually putting in the work. 
Okay, you're never going to gain that way. You may have a temporary victory or you may gain some stuff temporary, temporarily, but you're going to lose it tenfold doing it this way. These aren't the times that we're living in where thieves and crooks and liars and, and murder are getting away with anything anymore. So, you know, everybody had the chance to, to heal, right? To go through the dark night of the soul and go through a time of loss. People have such an attachment to material things that it's like they can't allow themselves to lose. And that is what the problem. When you can't allow yourself to lose, you will never gain because that means you're greedy or that means that you're not taking accountability or you don't feel like you deserve to lose anything because especially when you're hacking accounts like this, anybody hacking anyone's account, and since we're the judges of the world, right? Anybody hacking anyone's account right now, I mean anybody, anywhere, that's actually like a good person, go hack the ones who aren't. You know, let them, you will obviously be their karma, okay, for the hackers. Like, go hack somebody's account who actually hacks. The universe may actually let you do it to teach them a lesson. But you start coming after somebody who healed and who did the work and who's actually just like doing the right thing, you're going to lose everything tenfold. And if you guys don't stop and you think that you don't, you're not supposed to lose, then it may be something more than just material things you wind up losing. And that would be your fault, nobody else's. Keep protecting your accounts. I feel like the moral of this is that the more that you guys care and protect your phone, your devices, you know, um, research, do some research and find out what the best way is you can protect these things, you know, uh, the universe will start turning this for you. Okay. The, um, it's like your, your parent putting money into your bank account every month, but they know that your your drug addict friends also have access to the account. account. Your, your family, they're not gonna wanna give it to you. It's the same thing with the universe. We're not going nowhere. The most important thing right now is to protect your personal energy and to protect your devices. Protection, security. Because once you start doing that, then everything starts to come in. Makes sense nowhere in case you forgot out